Hello and welcome to CAD Resource. Today we are going to talk about polygons now poly means many, angons means angles, so that's many angled shapes, and we have the ability to create those. Inside of SolidWorks. Right up here under the sketch tab, in the ribbon bar. Let's go ahead and choose polygon right here. And let's choose that front face or front plane. Now, right over here on the left hand side. Notice we have some parameters and it's saying, how many sides do we want to have in our polygon? All right, we can have all the way down to three. Can't have two, you got to have three. So you can have a triangle, and we can go up to as many sides that you'd like, and then we can define how that shape will be created. Whether it's an inscribed circle or a circumscribed circle. So what that means is for an inscribed circle, let's go ahead and try the triangle out. Let's draw one out right here. You can see the inscribed circle. Is this circle right in here, which is defining that size? Now, if you switch over here to the circumscribed circle, notice it pops it to the outside. So we're defining that shape. Either from the inside or the outside. We can define the center coordinates of the outside diameter, and as well as the rotation all over here. And when you're done, click on the green check mark, right. So there's our polygon, which is really a triangle. But we can also then grab those lines and we can say, hey, I'd like to make you horizontal. Or I'd want to make this thing a little bit bigger. Or move it around. I can define the size. By adding a dimension here to the actual circle, say 4 inches. It makes it bigger. So then you have a 4 inch outside circle. Now you don't have to use that, right? I could delete that out. And I could say, instead of that, I want to define one of the legs. I could say, well, this leg's going to be 4 inches. And you can define it that way as well, but it's just allowing you to control that shape. Either with this circle, or with the inscribed circle. Let's make a couple more, just for fun. Right over here polygon again. This time I'm going to try a 7-sided shape. Click in the center, where you want to drag it out. It doesn't really matter the angle at first. But you can just kind of place. Whatever that radius wants to be. And notice you get that little heads up display as well, showing you the length of the line. And it's also showing you the angle. Now, if you click here, you don't like it. You can always add something like a construction line. So come over here, center line, grab to the, or snap to the center point. Drag it up to here, click there. And then I can use that to make a vertical line. So make vertical, that will control it. I can then define a dimension. For that inscribed circle right there, say 4 inches. And now I have that shape. So bunch of ways you can control it. Same thing over here. Is you can actually grab these points and drag it around. But one bit of caution here. What happens if I start deleting these relationships? So I hit that and delete it. Now, we don't have a polygon at all. These things are not connected. They're just a bunch of lines sitting out in space. So I generally don't recommend. Deleting a relationship that creates a polygon. So to go back, let's go ahead and hit undo. Undo one more time. So here's our polygon. If you did want to make some kind of light modification to this shape, instead of defining it or deleting that relationship, what I do is click on a couple of these lines, holding on control, so those two lines there and say, let's make those guys construction, all right? Notice the rest of them are regular lines. Just those two are construction. Then grab your regular line tool and just draw something else out. So that's the modification to the shape. We've got the shape we want, but we haven't destroyed the original polygon. So that's how you can work with polygons. Without destroying them. And adding and modifying them as needed, so you can always switch between regular geometry. As well as construction geometry. This is it today from CAD Resource I will see you again in the next video.